right. From what I last remember, I pretty much rage quit. Because I was tired of dealing with these fucking people that I couldn't save even though I wanted to save them. So... Cool. We're gonna try and save them. <sighs> if not, I may just have to murder a bunch of fools. Any of the food that gets murdered by my. Like I was saying, pretty much did not know what to do this part because I want to save these synths, but I can't because I don't know how to. Deal with the escaped synths. speak with father at the ruins of the CIT. Maybe we just have to talk to him. Let's do that. <clears throat> Honestly, I rage quit pretty hard because I just wanted to save these punk fucks. <sighs> and I couldn't do it. Because <clears throat> I didn't know how. Oh, look at this guy. Uh, with spiky armors. My dumb haircut. Uh, 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 uh. Shwoop up. Where am I? Here, maybe. No, it's... it's over there. Up and over. <coughs> oh, excuse my... My, uh... Coughing. I'm just generally sounding like a fuck. My lungs are getting the better part of me. Is this? Alright. The rotunda. Mmm. Okay. Stairs somewhere? Wait. No. God damn it. Stairs? This? No, I want to get up there. Oh, you bitch. Come on, my railroad friend. We're gonna figure this out together via science. Okay, here we go. Okay, so uh, across the thing. Come on. Deacon, what do we do, friend? Am 
might be some more stairs over here. Maybe one level up should be good. Okay. I think so. I think we got it. Oh, come on. over there. It is right over there. Do I have to go up and around more? stairs up and circle around. Dude. Those better not be the goddamn stairs I just took. Oh, yeah. figure this out. Come on. Really? Stairs over here too? There are stairs over here too. Uh, did I do it? I don't like how this is looking. Got gloomy and shitty all of a sudden. Son, you know, in all my years, I've never set foot outside the Institute. Not once. Since the day they brought me here. I've never had a reason. But now, this just confirms the truth I've always known. The Commonwealth is dead. There's no future here. The only hope for humanity lies below. It's not... It's not so bad, really. People manage. Perhaps. But at a cost too great to be worth it. Standing here... I'm reminded of how fortunate I am that I was spared a life in this wasteland. I know that to you I was kidnapped from that vault. In truth, the Institute rescued me. Both of us, really. Sounds like some brain... Oh man, look, look at how shiny this helmet is. Anyway, sounds like some brainwashing to me. But why refreeze me? As a failsafe, of course. 
I was the perfect candidate. An infant with uncorrupted DNA. But if something were to go wrong, if I died, well, the Institute realized a contingency plan was prudent. Another source of pre-war DNA, preferably related to their primary subject. It only made sense that my parents should fill that role. I'll admit, when I had you released from Vault 111, I had no expectations that you'd survive out here in all this. To not only do so, but manage to find me. To infiltrate the Institute itself. Extraordinary. What? So it was you. You let me out. Yes. It was my decision. Certainly, it was no longer necessary to keep you suspended. I... Well, I suppose I wanted to see what would happen. An experiment of sorts. I had no idea what kind of man you were, you see. Would the Commonwealth corrupt you? As it has everything else. Would you even survive? Perhaps most curious to me. Would you... After all this time, attempt to find me. And now I know the answer. That's... Well, here I am. Was it worth it? I believe so. Soon, I hope... I hope you'll understand. Everything I've done has been for the future. A future which I hope is not in jeopardy after recent events. Bunker Hill did not go well for us. Would you care to explain what happened? We were totally ambushed. They were waiting for us. You can imagine that I find that very hard to believe, given that all the intelligence leading up to this indicated we'd taken them by surprise. Bunker Hill was to cement your place as a valuable asset to the Institute. It will now only raise suspicions. And to see the Brotherhood of Steel involved in this? They had no way of knowing what was going on. I will refrain from sharing the outcome with the Directorate for the moment. Things are already in motion that this would only derail. Speaking of which, it's time for you to become more involved in the future of the Institute. I'd like you to join me inside. The Directorate is meeting, and you should be there. I'll be waiting. I'll see you now. It's time to go back in. I don't... Preston can eat shit, Dance can eat shit, technical documents. I mean, I don't know. It's fine. Whatever. I guess we're going back in. <clears throat> How? So if you're in wartime. From what I hear, that rogue synth at Libertalia was a real menace. Glad it's back where it belongs. So if you're in wartime and your enemy catches you off guard, that <clears throat> automatically means there's a nice leak. Work bringing that rogue synth. <clears throat> or maybe, I don't know, maybe your intel was shit to begin with, but... I guess not. The Institute is all-powerful. That's why I don't like this. They're all posh fucks. Fuck Sean. He's a dick. Let's get this directorate meeting over with before we speak further. It's... Well, it's important. I like your coat, though. Well, I don't like the back of it. Not that I look at it. It looks kinda... Lame. Let's get this directorate meeting over with before oh, please. we speak. please. Just go in the room. If you're looking for my mom or dad, they're it's probably important. still working. Unit X688 speaks highly of your combat skills. Good, we're all here. I think it's time we begin. Sir, 
Excuse me, but what exactly is he doing here? I will address that issue. But there are other subjects that require our attention first. The level of unrest in the Commonwealth continues to rise, as we're all aware. Your report. All Institute facilities remain completely secure, with the exception of one notable breach. Otherwise, internally, things are as tight as they've ever been. Dr. Ayo has been keeping an eye on things topside. Yes. Uh, watchers show no additional threats beyond those previously identified. We're still monitoring the increased activity around Ford Independence. But there are no immediate signs we should be concerned. Boston International Airport remains occupied, with Brotherhood presence noted at several other points throughout the Commonwealth. Intelligence suggests that this railroad continues to operate and is becoming more ambitious. SRB agents are monitoring all known situations, sir. Very good, thank you. It's clear that our safety needs to be the primary concern going forward. To that end, where are we on phase three? Uh, sir, are you sure this is the time to be discussing it? Given, well, considering all parties present? Ah, yes, that's true. Have you heard anything about phase three? I think so. I don't think so. It's all right. Nice. I wouldn't expect you to have. Call me dumb? The project has been classified from the beginning. Power is, as I'm sure you've seen above ground, a very valuable commodity. I'm not talking about some abstract concept of control. I mean real, tangible power. The kind that keeps the lights on. With every advance the Institute makes, our need for raw power increases. Many compromises and sacrifices have been made over the years to allow progress to continue. What kind of compromises? We have at times had to rely on drawing power from above ground installations. It risks personnel and equipment, but no longer. Phase three is simply the activation of a nuclear reactor that can provide enough power to the Institute now and forever. It will ensure not just our survival, but our prosperity. Can you tell me more about this reactor? Certainly. It was originally built for the Commonwealth Institute of Technology before the war, but was only for testing. Over the years, we've advanced the technology made a great many improvements and are finally nearly ready to activate it. The reactor is close to ready, but recent tests have determined we have a few tasks ahead of us. Thus, we come to phase three and to how you will help. Sir. Yes, Dr. Ayo. Previously, we would rely on Kellogg for above ground operations, yes? Well, he is gone. While I'm not overly fond of putting my own father in harm's way, he has proven more than capable of handling himself. Y yes but... This is not a matter for debate. Now, there is one more subject that requires discussion. I don't know that this is the time. Dr. Holdren, it is time. Please, as I'm sure several of you are already aware, I have been under Dr. Volkert's care for some time. I'm sorry, this is difficult for me. Our best efforts have failed every experimental treatment we could devise has been unsuccessful i'm i'm sorry to say i am dying what please be serious. everyone please i'm sorry this is not how i wanted to tell you but we're running out of time There must be something we can do to help you. The only thing that matters now is continuing the Institute's work. It will be all right. I assure you, we can talk more later. Right now, the future of the Institute is at stake. The Institute cannot survive without leadership. The Directorate must continue to govern with the best interest of all in mind. To that end, I am naming my father as my successor. Oh, boy. You can't be serious! Really? Seems a poor choice. How can you possibly justify this? He isn't one of us. He isn't even a scientist. Gonna Ignoring fight. your borderline, insubordinate tone, there I will go. simply say this. The Institute has enough scientists. What it needs is a leader. 
I believe my father has already proven himself more than capable in that regard. This will conclude this meeting. Thank you. Unit B-592 is undergoing the reclamation process as we speak. Okay, great. I mean... That's rough shit. That is rough shit. I'm trying to bring down the Institute and then he makes me the leader of it? And he's dying? Oh, son of a bitch. Hello, Father. I hope your time in the Institute has been enjoyable. I had no idea. I know this is... Well, it's a lot to take in at once. I'm sorry, Father. I hope it wasn't too presumptuous of me to put you in charge without even asking first. I mean... I can do it, but... I can do the job. Of course you can. That's why I made the decision. There's no question that some of the Directorate, a and the Institute at large, will need reassurances about your appointment. That's why I'd like you to take charge of this latest operation. Dr. Fillmore can fill you in on the details. There are hard decisions ahead for all of us, but for you especially. I know that you'll do the right thing. actually feel connected to Sean for the first time in the entire game. I mean, I come in, I fuck up the strategy, which he obviously knew about, but he's still like, alright, well, you're my dad, so I'm gonna... I'm gonna give you the benefit of the doubt. Oh man, I feel... Oh, okay, well, if I take over the Institute, I'm definitely going to reallocate resources to making it kind of not a shithole, kind of not a, a big fucking underground clandestine area of douchebags. I've heard stories. The surface sure sounds. I mean, it's pretty, but. Like Lawrence, he's the first to get fired and executed on the spot. Let's fuck him. It must make you proud to see all that Father has done. All that he has built. Yeah, Allie. Busy day for you, isn't it? Well, it's about to get busier. You're going to leave this operation, I'm told. <laughs> I got it. Absolutely. All right, let's go over the details. Recent events have upset our timetable. Getting the reactor online has become our number one priority. It needs to be running... Well, yesterday, we're going to have to cut some corners. I'm not thrilled, but it means we'll need to rely on some pre-war tech. You're going to the mass fusion building to acquire a beryllium agitator for us. Consider it done. I'll consider it done when I've got it in my hands. I'm going with you. Is that really necessary? I'm sure I can handle this by myself. Yes, it really is. Not only is this tech sensitive, it's old. Look, I'll take care of it. You just make sure I come back in one piece. Sounds good. Okay. I'd appreciate the company. Not as much as I'd appreciate coming back in one piece. I don't like going above ground unless there's no other option. But here we are, with our options dwindling quickly. Not to put more pressure on you, but we have to move quickly on this. Word is that the Brotherhood is nosing around the area. We don't want them getting the agitator before we do. Head on up to the relay, and I'll meet you there. I am not informing the Brotherhood. Fuck them. <sighs> no. Where's the... I 
feel real... I feel real bad about Sean now. He doesn't seem like that big of a douchebag. I mean, he's trying. Seems all right. I don't know. He's technically my son, so what am I? Look at us in our power armor and bop bop bop. We can't even drive goddamn hella birds good. Like, I want to be allies with those dickheads. I will take over the Institute for the greater good, even if it makes. even if it means making enemies with every other goddamn person on the map. <clears throat> that kind of got to me. How, <clears throat> how Sean is dying, and even though I fucked up, and he knew that I fucked up, he didn't inform the other people. The Brotherhood sure is here. Guess we'll have to go through them. He didn't inform the other people, and he made me the leader. No mercy. Okay. Sad. The only other time I felt this much movement from a game was Mass Effect 1 and The Witcher. No sign of the agitator. We'll have to search the rest of the building. I got it. I got it. Stand back, lady. Planned. Oh, about justice. That's it. Uh, this one? No. How about this one? Okay. This one? No. How about this one? Executive key card. Calm down, Noel. You knew that this was coming. I don't understand why you're acting this way. Don't tell me to calm down, Carl. When we started designing the beryllium agitator, you said it would be for the benefit of mankind. Instead, I find out that you have been planning on turning it over to the military all along. You lied to me. Don't give me that high and mighty attitude. Have you picked up a newspaper lately? There's a war going on out there, Doctor. And if our side's going to win, it needs all the help it can get. I can't believe what I'm hearing. Since when did science start taking sides? What did they promise you, Carl? Money? Political favors? A goddamn medal? That's enough! Like it or not, when the testing cycle is completed, I'm crating up the agitator and sending it off to Washington. Now, you have two choices. Either you can get back to work, or you can get the hell out of my building. Oh, uh, Carl. 
ultimatum, friend. 